try to keep the wild out. Tell it to stay back. Give. And it gives. And we take. Because it is us. And we have to take care of ourselves. We think we're separate. Separate ourselves, box ourselves in, be in control, lock into tracks, know it all. But we are the wild body of nature. And the dance of the wild is like fractal wind currents by the sea. Fluid, dynamic, self-adjusting, harmonic geometry play. We live in the wild. We've just covered it with cement so we don't get our feet dirty. The wild the soft yellow down on a baby chick reflecting light which travels at 186,000 miles per second. That's fast. The speed of light like a sleek black jaguar streaking through vast space glows red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Behind a ridge of mountains where the animals live, where in its tracks, the wild freezes, stunned by our greed. Unpredictable, free, dangerous, out there, in here, untamed self. We are the wild body of nature. And I'm running down the hill in the sand and the sun is bright and the wind is whistling in my ears. The dogs are barking like a random pack of joy and I'm floating in my space. And the sweat and the synergy of elated dogs. Unpredictable, free, dangerous, out there in here untamed self we are the wild body of nature forest of stone underneath the corporate canopy where the sun rarely filters down the ground is not so soft. It's not so soft. They build buildings to house people making money or they build buildings to make money off of housing people. It's true. A lot of things are true. I'm foraging for fungus on the forest floor that is not so soft. I look up. It looks like the buildings are burning, but it's just the sun setting in the windows. 
solar system calling an end to another business day, eternally circling, signaling, the rhythmic clicking on and off of computers, the pulse of the American machine. The pulse that draws death dancing out of anonymous sad streets, you know, the ones that always get dumped on and never get flowed. Draws death dancing out of little countries with funny languages where the ground is getting harder and it was not that soft before. And those who call the shots are never in the line of fire. Why? Well, there's life for hire out there. If a flag of truth were raised, we could watch every liar rise to wave it. Here we learn America like a script. Playwright throws that same thing we bring ourselves to the role. We're all rehearsing for the presidency. I always wanted to be commander in chief of my one woman.
Hey, sweetie. Hi. I'm not going to say hi to you then. UC Berkeley, she retired though. All right, so you guys are in Project Bandaloo. Yes, we are. All right, tell me about yourselves. Um, we've been working together for six years and Amelia Rudolph is the director and we originally started by doing groundwork and then she asked us if we wanted to be involved with vertical dancing and we started performing at City Rock and inside climbing gym in Emeryville and that started it. Uh huh. And what's great about climbing on a library? <laughs> well, it's really cool that, that uh, it, it's really cool that it's, uh, it, I mean, the library draws all different types of people, not just uh, rich white people, and not just poor, poor homeless people, and uh, I mean, just everything, everybody. Everybody. everything, and it's awesome to, to, to show this work to everybody. I, I was really excited that the children were here. For me, I'm a school teacher, and it's really fun to have all the kids seen flying and I hope it inspires them as they inspire me and it's just awesome I had that opportunity to dance for the kids. Uh -huh. Were you guys brave little girls? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, a brave little girl. I'm a braver little girl now. Yeah, you do. You do. But I used to like jumping off the roofs. I actually I tamed yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very Thank much. You. Bye Kimmy. I'm happy to be doing this at the library for a couple of reasons. One is that the library is part of the city, it's part of San Francisco, and I feel as a company, we've been traveling a lot, and we haven't gotten to perform that much in San Francisco, and this is an opportunity for us to connect with the city and perform here and really do that blending. Another reason is um, I have spent a lot of time reading books in my life, and I believe in ideas, and I believe in imagination and fiction and hey, hey, there she is. I think it's a good thing that um, we can connect as an art form that's very physical with something that's a little more mind and intellectual like a library and to make a bridge and a gap. Uh, I've spent uh, my master's thesis was actually about something like that about how the body can educate and how you can learn things through books that uh, are expressed in one way and you learn things through your body and express things differently through your body. I'm also really excited about this because of the Brave Little Girls exhibition that's happening in the library because uh, myself, I was a gymnast when I was a little kid and uh, I believe that little girls are capable of amazing things and I've grown up into a woman who I think is capable of amazing things and I would love to inspire little girls to go out there with their dreams and do things that they didn't think they could do and um, be the protagonist who saves the day.